All right, welcome to Creator Hardware. And today we're gonna well, <laughs> struggle through setting up Proxmox and the new server I built. If you didn't watch that video last week, I took a 2U chassis from Silverstone, put a 10th generation i3 with 16 gigabytes of RAM, one terabyte NVMe, and four terabytes of SSD storage. I'm gonna use it for a media cache for video editing for this channel and my main channel. So that's the point of the server. So we're gonna struggle with uh, <laughs> Proxmox and you're gonna get to watch it. So now server is right here, updated. There's my keyboard, my mouse is over here. We're gonna go ahead and, okay, we're gonna do, download the latest installer. All right, so we've got our USB drive, hopefully set up with Proxmox. I'm using uh, Etcher for the device. Well, it's loading Proxmox, that was quick. <laughs> uh, just an FYI, I am screen capturing this for the video out from my motherboard on the server to my capture PC. So I'm kind of doing it through my OBS. So it's loading. Again, like I said, I've never done this before, so be doing it together gotta gotta move move things to see what i need to see <laughs> where we want it we want it on my one terabyte mvme uh ssd go ahead and do that i go ahead and move my little lovely face up there all right time zone not in new york but we're in eastern time zone so set that up All right, configured. Hopefully that'll that'll make it happy. We're now creating a partition. So we're setting up Proxmox. Again, I said this was not a tutorial. <laughs> this is not a tutorial. I am figuring this out as I go. So hopefully after this, Proxmox will be set up. I can go ahead and put it in the server rack and then do next week's video on setting up TrueNAS. I don't have time to set up TrueNAS today because it's already later than I wanted to start. And well, <laughs> so get subscribed if you want to see me scr struggle with uh, uh, TrueNAS next week, because I will. All right, well, after a little bit of fun, we are, uh, Into the Proxmox. <laughs> yeah, I know I don't have a valid subscription. All right, we have set up Proxmox. Now, obviously, there's a lot of stuff we can do. Um, Ceph, cluster nodes. Uh, we are now currently set up. Proxmox server is set up good to go i don't have time unfortunately today to set up um the vm for TrueNAS. get that up and running i just i don't have enough time so this actually took longer than i expected thank you techno tim because his guide really helped because it did not want to connect through the internet and i was having trouble with the uh gui on the server itself um you know, inexperienced with this kind of stuff. So hopefully this was an interesting video, but it's set up. Now I gotta go ahead and put it back in the rack because right now it's sitting like right here and get that all set up, get that all cable managed. And then we can, uh, well, <laughs> set up uh, TrueNAS Core next week. So get subscribed. And as always, thanks for watching. This is Creator Hardware.